So otosclerosis is a condition that affects the bone of the inner ear. All of our bone in our body is constantly being turned over, so it's being remodeled and it's changing all the time. In this particular condition, otosclerosis, what happens is that bone turnover becomes abnormal. So you get hard new bone formation around the inner ear and that has a consequent effect on the hearing. What that actually does in reality, it means that the little hearing bones that are responsible for taking sound into the inner ear, the key bone is called the stapes and it's shaped like a stirrup. And the foot plate of the stapes basically gets stuck and it won't move in and out. And because you can't then move it in and out, the sound can't get through into the inner ear to then give patients better hearing. There are a number of ways to manage otosclerosis and fundamentally it depends on the amount of hearing loss related to the condition at the time of diagnosis. If it's very mild, then it would be entirely reasonable to treat the patient conservatively um, and the decisions for treatment are always made together between myself and the patient. The, is, if the condition is worse and the hearing is more significantly affected, then it's entirely reasonable to offer hearing aids or surgery. Hearing aids at a certain level of hearing loss become less effective and at that point it's likely that surgery will be a better option but any operation carries some risks so it's very important that we have a candid conversation about the operation, how I carry out the operation and the risks of the surgery. The key thing is that during stapes surgery we have to open the inner ear and that does convey some risk to the hearing. However, the operation is usually successful and over 95% of the time will lead to an improvement in the hearing, which can be life-changing for patients. Surgery may be appropriate for otosclerosis if the patient is not able to wear conventional hearing aids, and also if a patient would prefer to have an operation rather than to wear a hearing aid. Surgery is usually carried out all down the ear canal and involves lifting up the eardrum under general anaesthetic or occasionally under local anaesthetic, and then assessing the hearing mechanism to check that the diagnosis is correct. If the diagnosis is correct, then I can then proceed to remove the stapes bone and replace it with a prosthesis, which is then able to take the sound energy into the inner ear to improve the hearing. There's not a right answer as to whether to opt for surgery or a hearing aid. Every individual patient is different and everybody has different needs and different expectations. Um, a hearing aid is an entirely reasonable option for otosclerosis and it depends on how that patient manages with their hearing aid as to whether they may or may not want to actually opt for surgery having tried a hearing aid or just to go straight for surgery. The key thing is that the surgery is done with the utmost care and that actually at the time, if there are any difficulties or complexities, then those are addressed and usually they can be overcome and surgery is successful. So otosclerosis can be managed conservatively, depending on the level of severity of the condition at the time of diagnosis. If it is mild, it may be entirely reasonable to opt for conservative management a hearing aid may not be required and surgery may not be necessary or indeed indicated. It would be absolutely reasonable to watch and wait in these situations and wait for progression of the condition and therefore progression of the hearing loss before intervening and, and changing the course of management.